So, here's how to restore music files which have been deleted from iTunes. The first thing that happens when you delete files from iTunes is that the music files themselves are usually put into the trash. So, as long as you've still got these files in your trash, then you should be able to just restore them using this process. Now, here's my trash can already open. There's one deleted music file in there, still an act MP3. So we're going to restore this file back into iTunes. The chances are you've probably got many, many others, and hopefully these will all be listed in your trash. Now, if it's the most recent files that have been deleted on your Mac, then I would arrange this by date modified. So if you click on date modified, you can see you've got the arrow in the date modified header, which is pointing downwards, which means it's sorted in descending order, downwards arrow, descending order. So the most recently deleted stuff will be at the top. And you should see files and folders here, which may contain other files, for example, more music. So these are the files we want to restore. Now we need to get these out of the trash first of all, that's step one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new folder by right clicking on the desktop, and I'm gonna call this restore. And I'm gonna move all of the files that I want to restore from the trash can into that restore folder. And I'm gonna do that just by dragging and dropping. Now I've only got one file to restore, you might have many, many more. So you'll need to select all the files to restore first, and then drag these into your restore folder. So I'm gonna drag mine across. So there's one file dragged into the restore folder. It's now out of the trash, and it's now in a folder in my, on my desktop. And if I double click, there it is still an act in the restore folder. Now you might want to do this a number of times depending on how many files and folders that you've got. But the point is to get all of the files that you need to restore from the trash can into this restore folder. And the reason for doing that is because iTunes can only import files uh, from folders that are other than the trash. It can't import files directly from the trash can, which is a bit of a nuisance for us because it would save us a step. Okay, so we've now got the files in the restore folder. I don't need to have that open, I'm just gonna close that. Next step is to go into iTunes and import those files in. So I'm going to switch to iTunes, and if I go to the file menu, I've got Add to Library. And this is how these files would have been got into iTunes in the first place. So Add to Library. I'm now going to get a prompt um, to restore the files that I want. So make sure we're on the desktop, which I am. There's the folder called Restore. Now, if I highlight that folder, I can restore everything in it, which in this case is almost certainly what we want to do. If it turns out that there's things in there that you don't necessarily want to add to iTunes, then you can expand this and then just select the files that you want. Okay, so I'm just going to restore the whole folder. So I've clicked on that once to select it. And now I'm going to click on Open. And there we are. That's been added straight into iTunes. Now, the important thing to note here is that um, it's copied that file into the iTunes music folder um, and it has left the original in its place. So even though I've got this music file now in iTunes, the original is still on my desktop and I can show you that by just opening, opening the restore folder and there it is. So the final step is to tidy up. So now we've got the file in iTunes and I can prove it's there by double clicking on it. There we are. So the final step is just to remove the files that we've restored and I can do that by restore dragging the entire folder into the trash can or if I don't want to do that I can drag individual files into the trash can instead and that's the process of restoring files from the trash can back into iTunes